Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first official episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. <sighs> I have tried a couple times now to get this one, but I think we finally got the winner. So, I'm going to play this as a multiplayer game, just for everyone's sake. I'll probably change up my password now and then so I don't have any people trying to join in while I'm trying to play my games. So, let's see. Well, I guess I can just play a little player. That won't be a problem. Sorry, folks. I'm doing this alone. Why am I doing it multiplayer if I'm doing it alone? Well, you'll see. Now, normally I would say, oh, I should play by the hardcore rules, but I kind of save scum anyways, but I'll reload if party members die, or my hit point rolls aren't good, or my spells don't get copied into my spellbook. I might be able to adjust the damage, so I'll actually take the normal amount of damage rather than the less damage, but I think I'll go with normal difficulty rather than the core rules. Now, let us create our character. Now for me, I'm a wacky dude, and I have a wacky portrait. I am Butch Chief of Hats. Let's go with a half elf because we're going with a bar. That is how the Butch Chief of The blade bards are so ridiculously good, my friend. We'll go with a neutral good. I could have gone with Chaotic Neutral, because I do like being weird sometimes, but it's a lot easier if you're good aligned, because then your reputation starts higher anyway. Now, we could re-roll until we get, like, rolls in, like, the 90s. Or, we could go with the intentionally low roll to showcase that I can do this no matter what stats I've got. Well, more or less. Since this is me, let's go with this one. This is a very nice one. Alright. The Constitution probably isn't going to be super important here. I could probably go a little bit lower on the wisdom, too. The strength Dexterity and charisma are very important for the bard. So is intelligence. You can probably get away with a role like this really easily. Especially for a bar. Alrighty. And let's go with scimitar and short bow. Now in the short term, the short bow is going to be very useful. In the long term for Baldur's Gate 1, the long bow would be way more useful. But in the long term for Baldur's Gate 2, it might be tend to keep using the short bows. The short bow will actually outclass the long bow. Weird, I know. That's just how it works. Later on, I'll try to get some two weapons. But since we're just starting off, we want to just go with the one weapon. And I like my scimitars. They're very universal in this game and different types of weapons you can have, so. That is what we want. And let's go with, like, fiery red weapon here. There it is. And He's already got the teal, so let's... Yep, there we go. That's kind of like what I got there. I even have my own custom voice set, but Tis I'm not sure how much of this you'll actually right. I'm take in charge of that. And his name is Moose Changer Pat, because that is how I do it. Alright. 
let's get started. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. All right. So, here we As go. you command. Let's get this party started. I'm probably not going to, like... As you command. Everything that's said here because I played through the first part of the candle keep here so many times. And also, because I'm a bard, I can steal this stuff. And by that I mean, I just tend to Very well bust then. open some of these locked drawers and things and steal the contents and don't have any moral compass that says, oh, this was wrong. No, this is fine. They've got plenty. They'll be okay. Can't open that one unless you've got a really ridiculous strength, though, or really ridiculous luck. It shall be done. It's a hard to find decent folk he nowadays. He identify a scroll from Temple. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Fun story. The 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee? That is actually a thing. But Garion already paid for that, you know, quite some time ago, so... Don't have to worry about that. For now. Doop, doop, doop. Alright, um, we probably don't need to buy a short bow as it currently stands. And let's get the Ninjato because it's the cheapest version of the Scimitar we can get. Now the Chainmail, that might be tempting actually. But let's make sure that we get some crossbow bolts because uh, that's going to be needed. And let's see. You know what? Yeah, let's get the chain mail. I got the money. And we'll get some extra arrows for later. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we don't really have much in the way of spells yet, so we don't care too much about that. But I need to make sure that the AI isn't trying to use any of my stuff on me, because it doesn't do it as well as I do. I'll allow it to attack for me on occasion, but that's about it. Let's uh, save this, just in case, you know... Uh, 
got my uh, name messed up there. Nobody saw that. Alright. As you command. Do, do, do. Hello there. She wants her book. She left it in a haystack. He wants an antidote for his. Cow. What do you need? I'm telling you that. What do you need? Left here, book here. I think it's pronounced Philia. Philia. Yeah, whatever. We'll come back to that. Let's go fight some rats. By Moradin's hammer. And I'm just gonna share this journal entry with you because it's hilarious. Reaver has once again pressed me into service in his storehouse. All reports suggest that our feline forces have turned traitor and that the rats are on the offensive. It appears that I am our last hope in the face of such an awesome display of power. Farewell, dear journal. Farewell. Killing machine. Fun story. The first time I ever went through this with one of my friends, who had never seen this before, I had actually killed one of the cats because you know, the journal entry talks about how they turned the traitor, and I thought he would find it funny. He did not. He was quite traumatized by the fact that he killed the cat. And he was like, why? No, not the cat. I, I can be a little bit of a monster sometimes, but I think some things can be funny. Why As you are in hammer. I apologize if that comes up at any point in time. Hey there, Ho. Mm. How's it going, Monty? Mm. He needs his sword. Our He's offering an answer. Are very strict. Yes, Kate Warren, I would appreciate that. Now, there, you may wonder why am I doing this? Well, there is actually a very good reason. We can use this. I will face you in all the hell. Where are his Now, these monsters are all illusionaries. Well, you know, I like to finish them off. As so you I can add. Oh, yeah. this yeah. is only possessed by the nerd. Now, you can't keep any of the gear that the other guys there had, but. Do keep the effects as you the command. It shall be done. Yeah, see how it's all like lost items. Blah 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 blah. But I still have my stuff. These walls contain the world. He'll give me a free potion. Very well then. Which can come in handy because there's people who want to kill me, like Shank. I have a blade with your name on it. Hey there, Carvos. How's it going? Uh, I'm his kid. Well, foster kid. Oh well. Whoa, he very <laughs> How much of speed, my friend? Never mess with it. As you command. Your oil of quick something. I don't know on your which mind. one is it's called? Uh. Let's go with this one, because I feel like the poor tutors here don't need to know about all the bloodshed that's going on. There's money in this bag. It's shot. Uh, hey there, Fuller. Uh, got any errands I can run for you? Oh, look, I just uh, happened to have some crossbow bolts. A magic dagger never will. Very well then. Do, do, do. 
Nobody will go. And now we can go give Fuller his sword. Uh, hey, uh, oh, it's me, Emowyn. You're my best friend. I'll ask if you can come with us. Hey. Hey. Teftoral. Where are you, you old coot? Here, tabby, tabby, tabby. Greetings, young one. There he is. Well, that took me a little longer than I anticipated. But at least I have this oil of quickness that makes me go much faster. Here's the antidote you for your cow. Here's Hello there. Fork. And user identifier. It's so hard to find decent folk nowadays. Alright. My hotel's as clean as an open arse. The gem we got for Philia. The ring in the back. And since we're already hasted and protected from evil, it shall be done. Let's go to fight Shank. Hello. Hello. It shall be done. Um, who are you? A dead man. Oh, hey, he actually survived. Oh, hey, he exploded. That's one of the fun things about having hates and strikes. Sometimes when you get critical hits, people explode into chunks. Really? 18 strength and I'm still failing to get this lock? Okay! But yeah, the difference between having like an 18 strength and... Hmm? Anything lower is actually sort of significant. No, no, it was just a cat. As you command. The cats don't like me around here. I had killed one in a previous life. Alright, so we have finished all that we want to do in Candlekeep. I could have hypothetically picked up some more gear, but... Oh, my child, I am glad I have found you. All right, Garan, let's get going. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Let's hurry, child. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. That's a classic death flag, Ryan. Don't say that. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unhurt. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, 
but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Hey, uh, it's me, Emowyn. But Gorion didn't even tell me. What a good friend you are, Emily. You can have my dagger. Oh, and these arrows. Since I'm not exactly using them, then you only came with 40. It shall be done. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, hey, maybe those are the friends I'm looking for. Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, thanks for your time anyway. Maybe they'll be my friends anyway. Hello, this is Zar and Monster. <laughs> Montoron, you are so aggravating! Tis disturbing to my demeanor! Yes, clearly very trustworthy people. Yeah, well, we need to go to, uh, Meet with some friends first, but you can come along. Now you may wonder, who are these people? Well, Zar and Monteron are evil characters that you can take along with you. Now I don't intend to keep them very long, but they are you somewhat useful to have here because I can steal all their gear. Nemoin is actually more proficient with a short sword than with a dagger, so. I suppose we don't want Monteron to die, so we'll let him keep his studded leather for now. But later. Now, let's see, we want to go pick up the stuff from the ambush. As you command. You would think that, you know, our ambushers would, like, stick around to try to find me or something, but I guess they were satisfied with killing the riot. Poor daddy-o. Rest in pieces. And this is the note that was on his body. Also, I read pretty fast, so you may need to pause if you're trying to read this. Alrighty. Oh, we picked up some leather, so we can have a moment for that for now.
Now, for the beginning of the game, you kind of want to stick to the road for the most part because you're level one and Zar and Montaran are kind of flunkies. Now, you do want to pick up that stuff, but you want to be careful because there's like a wolf out there that can eat you. There's also a diamond in this tree for reasons. It's kind of an Easter egg. There's a couple of those types of things in this game. But I will show you where to find them. Oh, there, Wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Hello there. Want to imply anything, but how do you measure up to your own standards? Point well taken. Now, it shall be done. This game is not very friendly to players so who have never played it before. Why do I say that? Well, there are all sorts of ways you can die for this. Most notably of all are the wolves in the early portion that have like twice as many hit points as most first level characters. Do a pretty decent chunk of damage, usually enough to like one shot weaker dudes like Zar here. Uh, what's the most dangerous thing you've seen? An ogre mag. An ogre mage? Nah, ogre mag. Okay. Lost his party to it. Poor sap. He'll also warn you that wolves are being a lot more predatory because they're starving. But one of the other douchey things is they tell you to go to the friendly arm in. And that could be a bit challenging. As you command. Man, I sure missed the classic Baldur's Gate 1 videos. Those were nice. It would have been nice if they had, like, included an option to have them in there, too. So, yes, that was a magical ring you can go pick up. And that is a very powerful magical ring. Now, my lore skill is only an 8 because I have kind of low wisdom and only average intel. But even Imoen, whose lore is a 10, or Zar, whose lore is a 15, wouldn't be able to identify this right just by looking at it. Though I kind of wonder if he'd be able to identify the dagger. Yes, he can. So now we know it is a plus one dagger. Can you identify this? No. Not the best. That's okay. I can tell by the little icon here that it so gives sweet. me frost resistance. I can also tell by that. It also increases the damage I take from fire by 100%. So, very much a double-edged sword. Also, a fun thing about the Friendly Arm Inn is you can actually rest outside its walls without any penalties. You'll usually not get ambushed. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to this lady. She has Very the ring stolen by Now, the reason why coming to the Friendly Arm Inn can be so difficult is because there's this jerk who's standing outside waiting to ambush us. Now, he's not nearly as bad if you can manage to get some of these guards to help you out because fighting isn't allowed here and he's clearly instigating the fight. Uh, it's 
probably good enough, but we'll save just in case. You spoke at me? I wonder if you can hide in the backstab. And it's looking like a no. My guards are running off on me. Oh, hey, there you go. Very well, then. Hey, hey, come back to your house. Yeah, there we go. Hi, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say I'm not your friend, and my business is my own. How rude. No, really, that is utterly rude of you. I teach you a lesson about manners, but that implies that you're going to live. If I weren't going to anyway, I'd kill you just for being so uppity. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. All right, it's battle time. <laughs> and the rivers run red. Hey, we got it. If you're not careful, that guy will cast magic missile and he'll fire off three missiles or so, and those missiles do two to five damage, so on average you will die if you get hit by his magic missile. So you have to be very careful when fighting him so that you kill him before he can fire off that spell. Now, he will cast Horror on you, which can be annoying because if you fail or you're safe for that, your characters will run around like headless chickens. Now, normally, as a bard, you can actually sing and that will restore the courage of your Shall be done. However, the bard himself is the one running around like a headless chicken. Well, then you're just out of fire. But hey, he came with some scrolls. That's always nice. And a bounty notice. I'm worth 200 gold pieces, apparently. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine. Hey, Sorry about that slight interruption. Hey there, friend. Very well, then. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. What did your uncle do? He's a mage and a crotchety old one at that. Who's by the name Rage Christ? Eventually, can we rage fast if you want to? Now, here are Kaden. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed c c carefully. I love Kaden. He is so much fun. So is Jahira, but she's, you know, kind of rude. Now, I think I'll probably take them because Jahira and Khalid are some of our powerful NPCs in this game you can take, and they're also good guys. And now that we've got them, we probably don't need to have Zar and Monstro kick it around, so... Skedaddle. Your voice is Ambrosia. takes Monteron with him, which, you know, good for this. I 
Wasn't I supposed to get a short bow from that ambush? I seem to remember there being one there. I wonder if it's still there and I missed it. Oh well. I can just buy one, I suppose. Although, like, it sort of defeats the purpose. Uh, let's see. I think I might sell this stuff. Alright, let's sell some stuff. It's been dreadful slow business lately. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Time to sell some of these scrolls. Now, I'll probably keep these because they're sort of useful, but I don't know if I'm going to be using the armor spell that much. It is a pretty useful spell, but you need to be in a given area for it to... It only lasts eight and nine hours, so I'll oftentimes how did that wear off when traveling from one area to the next? Not as big a deal when you're in a city where the travel time between areas is nothing, but bigger deal when the travel time between areas is at least six hours. So, yeah, I think that's good. Now we can get one of these. Let's see. Definitely need one of those. One of those. Uh, one of those. Will I get a shield? Ah, we don't need a shield. We'll get a shield. Here, uh, plus the bullets. Short bow for me. That's right, you want these spells. Oh! That reminds me. Uh, gameplay difficulty. Hmm. Let's change it to core rules, but go with the max hit point on level up. And we'll just reload if we want the uh, spells to stick next time. Now, normally, with my intel score, the uh, spells don't really memorize all that frequently, so it might be a bit obnoxious for that. As you command. Now where is... Uh, these things? Oh yeah, it's Want to talk to As you. you command. A pleasure it is to meet you. Don't worry, we'll clear out your home of those nasty spiders. Oh, thank you for all these lovely antidotes. She only gives them to you if you're very pretty, though. Well, charismatic. Similar thing, different kind of influence, I guess. Man. Everyone's got a lot of stuff. Uh, let's swap that. I forgot to sell those. I'm smart. Let's get a chicken gear. One of these potions. Well, let's go to the just for the sake. Let's give the shield to Jahira. Well, actually, she won't need the shield. She's gonna be using her sling. 
She's gonna be staying out of combat for now. Drop the staff, because even though she has a staff in her portrait, she's more proficient with club. We'll figure. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. Very well, then. Then we talked to this guy who had his belt stolen by a weird You kinda leader. get better than the stability stone walls provide. He's got a girdle fetish. The ogre rap. Very well then. As you come it's out. usually good to have one frontline fighter to distract all their frontline fighters from hitting your shooters. And Khalid's pretty good at it because he has the highest constitution of any of the NPCs in this game. And as a fighter class, he gets additional hit points. Even though he's a half elf. Strength is sort of mad. He is, in fact, still a pretty decent fighter. You know what? Let's make him. If, if you wish, but uh, I'm not a very inspiring leader. The I'll do my leader. best. That way, he will. Charge the front lines first, because he has the sword, he has the shield, he has the split mail armor. I am just a squishy bard, with the least amount of hit points in this party. Partially because I picked to have the low constitution, but never mind. Alright, let's oh, go fight. Oh, Missed by a long yeah. shot. Yeah. Might go pick up somebody else. Missed by a long shot. Very well then. I forgot to sell it on the stuff again. Oh well, we'll be selling stuff when we finish picking I can, up but all the top goblin crud. Oh, right. Yes, as you doesn't have a health. You have need of me if none are better. Now you may be wondering, why aren't I picking up, you know, some better gear for my dudes well because i can get a lot of this stuff is for a good free. day and i only pick up basically the bear in this case no! for my friends and companions i will fight oh i thought it's really nice. i will face you and all the hell i must Alright, where'd that other cop went off to? Oh, my heart's really not in this. <laughs> I'll do my best. Alright. He has the ring of what's her face? Joy. I may have less hit points than all of you, but I'm stronger than all of you. Okay, uh, can I help you? Just, you know, no endurance. Just so that we can get this out of the way. Be warned, you do not want to go here. That is the city of Baldur's Gate, so you think, oh, this is Baldur's Gate, let's go to Baldur's Gate. No. Do not go to this far. You will die horribly to giant I'll bug do my monsters. Best. 
At least that first level. You need to be like fourth to solidly take them on. Ideally, you might want to be fifth or sixth, but you know. Some people do things at different rates. Though. My blade will cut you down the side. space too, but I think that was just cleared so that they could have uh, a game. Fun fact, if you have the weather effects on, you can get randomly struck by lightning during some of these rainstorms. I've actually had it happen way more often than I would like in some of my games. I think in some of them they actually made it so that the lightning doesn't do any damage to you or something. Or maybe my character was just immune to lightning damage, I forget. But it's still very jarring to randomly get struck by lightning. You've a task? Yeah, let's have Jahira heal up, please. You have need of me? I can. But try. Oh, right. We're gonna do her curve. I'll do my best. Yes? Yes. And Good on you if you say the game. Raise. I care not. Now let's rob her. I'm house. gone. Oh, that's horrible. Then, uh, she got her big bag. She'll be fine. Go Ryan would Besides, be proud it's not like of your actions. Go Ryan would be you? proud of your actions. I don't I'll know. Do Stealing doesn't seem very honorable. Shh. Nobody saw me do that. Gather your party before venturing forth. As much as I don't like some of the enhanced edition characters, they do have some good stuff. I so can't let's talk but to try. Hmm. It's about time. Bring me another flagon of ale. Then why do you bother me? Be gone. Toodles, yeah, evil. Don't talk. I have no idea what that means, but it seemed appropriate at the time. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Ah, I've got some decent cash going on here. Now, hypothetically, you could get more for these bastard swords, but I'm lazy, so I'll just sell them at this price. Also, you eventually can get more money than you'll ever need, so... I don't tend to find it a huge priority to make sure that I sell everything at best value I you can. Gather your party before venturing. Just certain I'll do my best. That guy's still dead. <laughs> oh, come to think of it. I don't think we really need that scroll anymore. So it'll just...
stay there forever, probably. Now, some of you may be familiar with some of the Baldur's Gate characters, such as I'll do my best. Minsk and Boo. He is probably the most popular character in the entire Baldur's Gate saga, but I am actually not going to take him in this my friend. I know, it's I shocking. Fight. It's heretical, but... I kind of want to take some other characters, and I don't feel like taking Dinah Air. She's a nice enough lady, but it's just sort of the typical character set to go with your character, Imowin, Khalid, Jahira, Minsk, and Dinah Air. That's pretty much the default party of Boulder's Gate 1 for good guys. Now, while I am a good guy, we're going to mix things up a little bit. Now, we will still do Minsk's quest and go rescue Dinah Air, but we will eventually part ways with him once we have done so. Now, you may be wondering, why am I going through all these woods now? Well, we have a party of four, so it's much less dangerous to do this. However, there is an ogre around here with all those belts that that guy was talking about, and, well, he's a bit more challenging. There he is. Nature I wonder if we can get off an entanglement. You I can, but I try. Hold back, everyone. Ah, oh, we did get the entertainment. Now we can shoot him with impunity. This is done. Sunny or not, it is nice to enjoy the out of door. Oh, snap. That ogre is dead. Very well, then. Hey, and I made the save her spell. That's always bad. Oh, well, not that bad. You hear it? Tell your trees to let me go. Come on, let me go. Got places to go, monsters to kill. Hey, there we go. Uh, let's give. Well, it's not like any of these belts are gonna be used for very much longer. So. You have need of. Oh, me? sure. Now I wear it. I can, but try. A smart. They're like Smurfs. <laughs> Take that. I was gonna say. Smurfs but evil, but Smurfs are pretty evil, so yeah. Oh, why not? Let's start a short sword collection. They don't weigh that much. They're worth anywhere from two to five gold pieces.
not a kids friendly game and this is not a kids friendly video so you have been warned it's not like i get paid to do these anyways these are mostly just for fun and for anyone who wants to watch because i am a competent Baldur's Gate player To be fair, I have actually been playing this game for like 20 years, so I know my way around it. there weren't any cobalt commandos, those have fire arrows, and fire arrows very badly hurt in this game. Wasn't there supposed to be a kid over here? Maybe the cobalt's hate him. I know, a dark and more than we just suggest. More cobalt? Oh, different things. Giverlings are less dangerous, but, you know, their loot isn't quite as good as short bones. Although, our color sprays are always probably My sister, she's very meticulous about clearing out all blackness. But I'm like, eh, if you've mapped up most of it, it's good enough. I know where the majority of the stuff is, so usually I don't miss it. Uh, there's the game. Oh, they're just diseased to get points. Diseased ones are annoying because they don't actually carry any trade. Oh, yeah. There's also like a 1% chance that you can get infected from them or something, I forget. But it's not very high, at least. The most dangerous foe of all, a wolf. Well, dangerous part. 
damage all the time. I mean, the ogre was um, arguably much more dangerous, but there's four of us and one of it, and we had an entanglement spell, so it's all good. Uh, let's go to Baragost first. What do you need? What do you need? What is the best place in town? Hell the post, huh? Thanks for the help. I can, but try. Get out! I don't like your type in here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. I mean, guys, as I can understand. I oh, can, sorry. but try. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? No need to get all bent out of shape. Anyway. Oh, he wasn't gonna settle down. No, Marl, he really wasn't. Well, well. Uh, darn kid. Oh, hey, we got enough experience for you here at all. That's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. That looks good. We got another first level spell, so let's go with... Yeah, another care life wound is always good. Eight points of damage. I got some cheap beer for ya. Less expensive than that. Here, you talk. Very well. Maybe then. he'll be nice. You want some whiskey? Aha! I was right. But because it was clean. Clean is ugly. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get the nice in room. Because if you're gonna be getting. If none are better. A place to sleep, may as well I go can, all out. But all right. It's a hard to find. Why is Fire from Candle Keep? Who wanted the Identify Scroll? Now he wants a book. I think I if bought that none book. Better, it's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. As you command. It's so hard to find decent oh. folk nowadays. Good on you if you save the I day. Have to have my dude talk to him rather than clean. Now this book has, you know, lots of foreshadowing and stuff, but eh. 
He gave us a scroll case. How nice of him. Can I, if none are better, I'll do my best. All right. So I think we'll stop here for now. Next time, though, things could get interesting. This is Moose Changer Pad. Signing up.